Let's take a look at command line basics. Parameter expansion. Parameter expansion is an expansion that uses the dollar sign character, followed by text or by text enclosed in curly braces. The text following the, cur the dollar sign refers to a named variable. Variables are chunks of data that are stored and given names, and those values can change. Let's try to use echo to observe how parameter expansion works. The variable named uppercase user is used by the system to store your particular username. Here it shows lane s, which is my username on this system. The dollar sign is used before the name of the variable. This combination causes a parameter expansion that expands to the value of the variable user stored in the system. Without the preceding dollar sign, Bash will treat user as text rather than a variable name and will not perform parameter expansion. We see that echo user without the dollar sign displays the text user rather than the value of the variable user. It is also possible to omit the curly braces. However, I strongly recommend that you get in the habit of enclosing your variable names in curly braces. Doing so makes it clear to the shell exactly which variable you are referring to. If you fail to do this, ambiguity can result and may result in unexpected behavior. For example, let's try the following. If a variable name is not found during parameter expansion, we get an empty string. Here, the shell attempted to look up a variable called username, which does not exist. However, look what happens when we enclose the variable name in curly braces. In this case, the shell knew that we wanted the variable called user rather than a variable called username, which does not exist. It is also possible to create your own variables and then use them in parameter expansion. Let's try to create our own variable and give it a value. Here, I'm going to create a variable called class code. I assign it a value using the equals sign, and then the value will be what's on the right hand side of the equals sign. Now that I have done this, there now exists a variable called class code, and that variable has a value, ling402. I can now use that variable in conjunction with parameter expansion. And we observe that the value of the variable class code was successfully replaced with the value of that variable. Recall that if we attempt to use variable expansion, parameter expansion, using a variable that has not been properly defined, 
we will get the empty string. At this point, no variable has been defined called class. And so as a result, the expansion fails, resulting in an empty string. This is more visible when the parameter that we are attempting to expand is in the context of a larger string. Here we observe that our attempted expansion indeed results in an empty string.